Hello spinner, you're on pen stock channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Lanz and today we'll break down a small pen spinning combo which I showed in one of my previous short videos. This is quite an easy combo except for the last trick, so if you are an intermediate pen spinner you can master it without the last thumb bounce or replace it with extended thumb around. Actually this way you can even loop this combo and master it till you can spin it fast enough to be able to turn pages of book with spin winds. Just like that pen spinning poser from Etsy Quotze. We start with extended thumb around round to pass reverse one two two three originally i usually do one for however many i will be able to do extra spins on index finger before i notice that the pen mode is about to lose its balance just because i like it like that i don't think that it's worth mastering it if you're not patient about top spins okay this link is very basic just catch pen in one two with big part from outer side of hand let's move on to the next link we will need to add sonic clip reverse to three two three four when you do this sonic clip after pass reverse do additional charge reverse in 2-4 make sure that it is circular enough because when pen goes in circle in this charge reverse you bend index finger to let pen move over it and as it does you straighten index finger and fix pen in 1-2 when it goes down you bend fingers a little bit it will make this pass easier to make and you can also look at it as a variation of warped sonic reverse 2-4 to 1-2 you can also pass pen back and forth in the slots and guys let me know if this link was somewhat hard for you because for me it surely was took quite a while to master and if we connect this with initial pass reverse from one two 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 three we can even loop this micro combo look at this the only problem is we catch pen in one two not in an optimum position closer to this tip you catch your pen mode easier this loop will be to proceed but for today's combo we catch pen closer to this opposite tip with most of weight from inner side at first just do this sonic clip reverse to pass reverse and then charge reverse in one two then when you can do it, instead of charge reverse, do twisted sonic reverse. One, two, 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 three. <laughs> hey, look, guys. <laughs> it seems we can loop this micro combo again. If we do twisted sonic from one, two, two, four, we can do this weird double charge reverse one, two, two, four. Admit it, Frank, you don't like me. No, I like you, but I'm the same. You don't like me just because I can't properly say burger. Double charges are really good for developing dexterity and finger coordination. Okay. I have to stop looping links to, for today. What's the matter? Yeah, the next link we will add shadow to 3 to 1 2. And by turning hand from palm up to palm down, we change spin direction from reversed to normals. And this is why we start twisted sonic with bigger part from inner side of hand. As we catch pen mode in 2 3, try to catch it closer to this cap with a bigger part from outer side of hand. And as soon as you catch pen, turn hand palm down. If you turn hand even a bit towards to yourself, it will be easier to slither over 2 to 1 2. And the last link starts like shadow to thumb around. Pretty obvious and pretty basic link. I think one of the first ones with shadow for any intermediate pen spinner. I think the only difference is you, you do thumb around pushing with two instead of one. Now intermediate pen spinners can just finish this combo with extended thumb around or loop it as I suggested before, just reminding. And if you want to copy this combo exactly, add a thumb bounce at the end. It will make this combo really shine. For that, give the last push the real extra boost, because thumb bounce requires a lot of momentum. Guys, there are more intermediate and more advanced combo tutorials on my channel. I gathered them in different playlists for easy access.